Douglas just might win it. Oh no, Spencer is pulling ahead. And it's over. After a few firing issues, Spencer has won the race. Amazing. Hello and welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and engines, to Rolf's Castle Station. And coming up next... A race sponsored by our dear friends at the Sodor Shipping Company. Let's see who we've got competing today. First up, it's Gordon, the Express Engine. And representing Team Diesel is the one and only Diesel Ted. Now before we get started, I have to ask, what exactly are both our competitors pulling? Those would be dynamometer cars. They're used to measure the engine's performance throughout the race, including their speed. Ah, very interesting, Stan. Now let's get this show on the road. I think you mean on the rails, Nigel. <laughs> oh, nice one, Stan. Nice one. On your marks. Get set. Go! And they're off. What an exciting event. And a rather spectacular view we're getting from our eye in the sky, Harold the Helicopter. <laughs> not so easy to keep up when I'm not pulling a heavy train, is it, Diesel 10? Ah! Ooh, and it looks like Gordon is pulling ahead. I suppose it is to be expected, Nigel. He is the express engine after all. Come on, Gordon. You can do it. Now what seems to be happening here, Stan? It looks like Diesel 10 is gaining on Gordon. Incredible! Just how is he doing it? Huh? You were saying, Gordon? <coughs> Stan, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I sure am, Nigel. Perhaps Diesel 10 should pull the Express in future. And he's still picking up speed. It should be impossible, but he must be going over a hundred miles per hour. That devious diesel, how's he doing it? And with the finish line in sight, it looks like Diesel 10 is going to be our winner. Oh, bother. Seems Diesel 10 has broken down. What a turnaround. And Gordon is the winner! What an incredible race! Simply fantastic, Nigel. Definitely one for the history books. I can't wait for the next one. What an exciting time to be on Sodor. Well done, Gordon. You've made us all very proud. Thank you, Edward. Although, I do wonder if you would have still won if Diesel 10 hadn't broken down? Ah, uh, well, of course I would have. I only let him get ahead to make the race more interesting for the audience. Oh yes, I see. Are you sure, Gordon? That's not what it looked like to me. Certain. Besides, it made my finish all the grander. Grand or not, you represented the steam team well. Thank you, Henry. What do you think, Percy? Well, Gordon is the fastest engine on Sodor. I don't see how Diesel 10 could beat Gordon in a race. Ha! <laughs> you sure did some damage to your engine, boss. You fool! You were supposed to just beat Gordon. Not show off like that. Excuse me? You sure are making a habit of letting the steam engines get the better of us. What exactly are you saying, Diesel? You know exactly what I'm saying, Diesel 10. I'm back! Here's the dino... Dino... Dino whatever cars, Diesel. Ah, good work, Paxton. Let's see the results. Looks like Diesel 10 managed to get up to 103 miles per hour to Gordon's 96. You were saying, Diesel? 
you still lost the race. But it seems that when used correctly, our new fuel is just what we need to put those stinky steamies to shame. <laughs> If Diesel 10 hadn't broken down, he would have won. He was too close to the finish line and too far in front of Gordon. But why would Gordon allow him to get that far ahead? That's just it. I don't think he did. I think Diesel 10 was actually going faster than Gordon's top speed. But that's impossible. Maybe, maybe not. If only I could prove it either way. Didn't you say they were pulling dynamometer cars? They must have recorded both engines top speeds. Oh, that's right! You are clever, Annie. I'll have to go and find them at once. Hello, Percy. <sighs> oh, hello, Thomas. I figured out how we can check to see if Diesel 10 was really beating Gordon. Figured out? Oh, Annie figured it out. I'm going to Rolf's Castle Station now to find those dynamometer cars. Do you want to come? Uh, oh, of course. But I have to deliver these cars first. Can we go after? Oh, uh, sorry, Percy. I don't think we have the time. I'll have to go myself then. I'll tell you about it later. Hmm. That's strange. The dynamometer car should be here. Hello, Thomas! You look lost. You missing a coach? Two, actually. There's supposed to be a pair of dynamometer cars in this siding. Have you seen them? Aye. That wee diesel, Paxton, took them away last night. Paxton took them? The diesels must be up to something. Thanks for the help. I'll see you two later. Hey, Thomas! What's the rush? Sorry, I have to find those coaches. Oh, I'm telling you, Den, it's that special fuel that did it. It's bad for your engine. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. Diesel 10 just overworked himself, that's all. If you say so. Anyway, let's get these parts. Special fuel? I wonder what that's about. There's the dynamometer cars. We should have taken these cars back to the sidings last night. I hope no one notices they were gone. <gasps> Quickly! Once this is done, we should focus on getting more... Thomas! Thomas! After him! Oh, do I have to? Now! Hey, Thomas, come back with those cars. Why do you want them? They're not yours anyway. Oh. He's right. Why do we want them? Just help me get them so we can get this over with. Get out of the way, Thomas! <gasps> what was all that about? Whoa! That was a close one. Thomas! What's going on? No time to explain. I need you to help me get away from the diesels. Right! Ready, Thomas? Ready. Full steam ahead! Quickly, Sydney, they're getting away. We're doing it, James. We're doing it. Now on to Titmouth Sheds. Ha-ha! <laughs> we did it! Thank you, James. You're welcome, Thomas. 
Now, I think you have some explaining to do. Thomas, uh, what are you doing with those dynamometer cars? Well, Gordon, I thought you might like to see just how fast you really went in that race yesterday. It was a rather grand victory for you, after all. Uh, there's really no need. What's all this about, Thomas? Looks like Gordon really was losing the Diesel 10. <gasps> Gordon's top speed was 96 miles per hour, and Diesel 10 was 103. That can't be. There's no way Diesel 10 could go faster than Gordon. Oh, it's true. But I had no idea how he was able to do it. Did you notice anything strange about him during the race? He was puffing green smoke from his exhaust. That's something I've never seen a diesel do before. That's very strange indeed. Special fuel. I heard Den and Dart say something about some special fuel at the diesel works. That's how Diesel 10 was able to go faster than Gordon. Hello and welcome everyone to another wonderful evening at Tidmouth Shed. Uh, Nigel, we're not doing that right now. Well, Gordon, you put on quite a show yesterday that Sir Topham Hatt has agreed to a relay race down the main line tomorrow. Steam engines versus diesel engines. Thomas, you'll be the leader for Team Steamies. And that's all from us for now. See you next time. Toodles! Well, unless one of the diesels breaks down again, the race is lost. Hmm... Not if we take their special fuel. You complain about me failing to get the stolen crown, but today you let that blue teapot get away with the dynamometer cars. Well, maybe if you weren't broken down, you could have helped. Hello, Diesels. How are we all this evening? Uh, we're good, thank you. Excellent. Good to see you're back in working order, Diesel 10. Now, tomorrow evening there's going to be a relay race down the main line. Isn't that right, Stan? That's right, Nigel. Steam engines versus diesel engines. Each team is to have six engines total. Diesel will be the leader for Team Diesels. Uh, don't you mean Diesel 10? Uh, no. Sir Topham Hat recommended Diesel. That's all for now. Good night and goodbye. You be the leader? That can't possibly be right. It can't be wrong. I'm sure it's for the best. Huh. All right, team. We all know we could beat the Diesels in a fair race, but they're not planning on having one. They've got a special kind of diesel fuel that gives them an unfair advantage. So we need to take it before the race this afternoon. So here's what we're going to do. Someone's coming! Huh? Where? Hello, dirty diesels. Looking for these? Oh, not again. Come on, let's get him. Huh? What, what for? What are we looking for? Hurry up, Sydney. What's going on? Hey, Steamy! What do you think you are doing? Gordon, what a surprise! What he means is, we haven't seen you in a while. Have you come for some repairs? Ah, not today, my friends. I just thought I'd come and see how you two are getting on. Oh, uh, how wonderful. What he means is, we should go inside and catch up. Come on, then. Sounds delightful. Let's find those fuel tankers. Oh, 
no. How do we get the fuel cars without Diesel 10 noticing? Don't you fash yourself, Percy. We'll distract him with a little trick we learned from Bill and Bane. Ready, Donald? Ready. Hello, laddie. Enjoying this fine Sandrium weather? What? Steam engines? Go away! You'll have to be faster than that. Oh! You almost caught me that time! Nice try, but I'm too quick for you. Oh! Much ah. too slow. Wait a minute. Are there two of you? Steam the alert! They're trying to steal the Torbanetto fuel! Going somewhere? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Percy! Oh, not him again. Oh. Fancy bumping into you here, Diesel. No! Go on, you three. I'll catch up. We can't believe it a fellow steamy behind! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Hold on, Gordon. We've got ya! No! Well done, you four! We did it! Not entirely, Thomas. The Diesel still have one of the special fuel cars. Hmm. It's all right, Percy. I'm sure if we work as a team, we can still win this. Right. You've failed us again, Diesel 10. Now there's only enough fuel for two of us. This had better not cost us the race. It won't. We will win tomorrow. One way or another. Well, Stan, it sure must be great to be an engine participating Sodor's first ever railway relay race. Indeed, Nigel. And look, here's our first competitor. A fine example of good sportsmanship, I'm sure. Diesel 10 and I share the remaining special fuel. That should give us a good head start and a decent finish. Sounds like a plan, boss. Oh, Diesel. Oh, but that's not all I plan. <laughs> ah, and it looks like the diesels and the steam engines are moving to the starting line. And we're almost ready to get started, Nigel, but it appears there's an engine missing. We're on Sodor Sydney! Hmm, this is odd. Where is everybody? Oh, grease and oil! We need a replacement at once! Oh, oh hey, Diesel! What? I can race! I'm very fast! I guess we don't have much choice. Twelve to a station, Philip, and be quick about it. Hooray! Ah, and it looks like a replacement has been found, Stan. Excellent, Nigel. Let's get started then. Racers, take your marks. 
Get set. Go! It will surely be a race to the finish, eh, Stan? They usually are, Nigel. Thomas seems to have an early lead, but wait, Diesel appears to be gaining on him. Full throttle now! Ha ha! We Diesels have always been stronger than bad. We are revolutionary! Uh, oh no! Dirty Diesels! Get moving! Ow! Ow! And here's little Philip racing on the rails. He's not too fast, is he, Nigel? Not particularly, but he is adorable, Stan. And look at this, here comes the number one engine. In second place. Come on, Percy, go catch Philip. Right. Oh, it's too late for that, Thomas. <laughs> <coughs> All right, I have to make up for lost time. Ah, Gordon's Hill, the most difficult leg of the race. It will surely test them, Stan. Let's hope they make it. Oh, hi, Percy. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing well, Philip. This hill, though, it's a tough climb. Oh, you can do it, Percy! Down the hill and round the bend, it's Philip with Dan ready and waiting. Oh! Off you go, Big Diesel! Uh, it's dead. Ah, come on! Where's Percy? Go, James! Go for it! What a show, Nigel! The Diesels are still in the lead, but it looks like the Steamies are making a comeback. Slip might cost the Steamies the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Diesels are cheating. Get in there, Harry. And here comes James. Not looking good, is he, Stan? No, Nigel. Black definitely doesn't suit him. This may be the chance for the Steamies to claim victory. Give up, Kettle! Ah, hold your wish! Let me show you what a real engine can do! Well, this is a close one. Oh, Ripper! They're gaining. The Diesels better watch their backs, or they could be left in the dust.
This is it. Unbelievable. The Steamies have the lead once again. Yon Diesel's best watch yourselves. <laughs> You're the one that needs to watch yourself. Cinders and ashes! Oh! I can't see! It's strange that the steamies are running into all these mishaps. And they're off on the final leg of the race. Gordon! Thought it would be nice to catch up. Ha ha ha! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Funny how it's always you playing catch up with me. Not today, Gordon! Look at that, Stan! Diesel 10 is soaring ahead! This one's for the team! Gordon's catching up! I've never seen an engine move at such a tremendous speed! What? Impossible! Ha ha ha! I'm the fastest engine on Sodor, Diesel 10, and I can beat you with or without special fuel. Ah, I don't give up that easily, Gordon. Batter up, Gordon! Ow! I believe that wood is exported, Nigel. Known for termites. Gordon's still ahead. But wait, Diesel 10 is catching up. Uh... Ah! Blast! Not again! And it's Gordon! What a brilliant finish. Yes! We won! We won! could have caused this. I, I might have the answer to that, sir. The diesels have been using this dangerous fuel as an advantage in the recent races. Oh, Torvanetto. Disgraceful. This brand is illegal. I will find out who is responsible for this. It was his idea. What a fine show of teamwork. Well team, we did it. We beat the Diesels even with all their tricks. Well done everyone. And well done to you Thomas. You made a great team leader. It just goes to show you Nigel, when you race with Team Thomas, friendship always wins. Oh. Are you crying Nigel? That was lovely, Stan. I try, Nigel. If you lot had been of more help, none of this would have happened. Oh yes, blame everyone else, as always. It's the truth. No, I've heard enough. You have failed us for the last time, Diesel 10. But- But nothing. You are hereby banished from the Diesel Works. Don't be ridiculous. We all agree to it. Now leave. Oh, come on. Harry? Bert? Den? Dart? But where will I go? That's your problem. Fine. I don't need you anyway. Huh? 
Splodge. I knew you two wouldn't abandon me. Wait, what? Splodge? Splatter? Dodge? No. It looks like it's just me and you, Pinchy. But I promise you, Diesel will pay for what he's done to us. We come to a yard and in through it, we are everything this island needs to flourish. Our revolution has... Oh, hello everyone. What's the occasion? Paxton! I'm trying to... Oh, hello Diesel. What are you doing up there? I'm explaining... Say, where's Diesel 10? I haven't seen him lately. Paxton! Oh, sorry Diesel. As I was saying... If we want to get ahead of the steamies, we'll have to stir up some trouble. And when I think of trouble, I think of... Hey Gordon, did you know that I'm the fastest engine on Sodor? Oh, that's impossible, little Thomas. Don't be silly. I have a dynamometer car right here to prove it. The coach recorded 120 miles an hour. You went how fast? I, I, I don't understand. How did you... Well, I guess I had a little help. Indeed, he did. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> Just not fair, Ben. I should have been the one in that relay race. Every engine on Sodor knows I'm very fast. Don't be silly. I'm much quicker than you are. Or not. Or too. Aren't. Ah. Oh. All right, you two. You'd best get moving with your china clay trucks. The ship at the docks is waiting. All right. All right. I'm going. I'm going. Racey, Ben. What? I come back here. Bill, that's not fair. Bill! Oh, I thought you were fast, Bill. Speak for yourself. I'm going to be the winner. Oh, we won. won. No, no, I won. won. Oh, I was here first. No, you weren't. Ask Cranky. Cranky? Wow. Now. Actually, I believe I was here first. What? But you're two. Two. Well, I may be number two, but right now I think I'm number one. See you both back at the clay pits. Bless right, you. Oh, I'm going to beat you this time. You never have before. Have two. Have not. Truly sorry, Philip, but Mrs. Cow was moved to a different farm yesterday. Moved? Oh dear! Oh dear! I must find her at once! We just moved her to the next farm down. Mrs. Cow! Mrs. Cow! Where are you, Mrs. Cow?
Oh, I was part of a relay race? Were part of a relay race? That ship has sailed, Sid. Aye, that be true, matey. The race is over. You'd best be going home now, Sidney. Oh dear. How embarrassing. I hope he doesn't get lost again. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, Porter. What's he going to do? Take a cruise and end up in... Oh, wow. I'm in Hong Kong. Hmm. This can't be right. The buildings here are very different from Sodor. Sodor! That's it! I'm supposed to be going home. I better see if anyone can help. Just have to... Jog my memory. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I I'm lost. D does anyone know how to get to the the Vickerstown Diesel Works? Hello, anyone? Excuse me, sir. We just got an international call. What? Sydney is in Hong Kong? I'm afraid so. On the bright side, at least Sydney will have a few tales to tell when he returns. That would be nice, if he even remembers his trip when he gets back. <laughs>